All right, guys, I hope everybody's having a good day. I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Let's talk about why your head hurts when you read. So we do often hear this as a predecessor to headaches or neck pain, and reading seems to be a culprit, no? and that seems to be a common reason why people have um, problems when they read. So let's talk about why that is. So common reading positions generally is not in standing. So We'll talk sitting and we'll talk laying down. So generally the reasons that you have headaches when you based on either posture or so if you are trying to read something and you're unable to because you can't see and you're really having to squint and you're having to really focus, that's an entirely different reason as why to why your head hurts and you want to go see the eye doctor, make sure everything is checked out, you don't need glasses. You people who are able to see the page fine have no issues with that go into your head so that irritation of these muscles this propping of your shoulder or you're like this this poor posture causes strain on the neck that neck strain can cause a headache to occur also if you're trying to read and you're you're just furrowed in your brow or you're very stressed and you're trying to read something and you're more like this in your face not that you're squinting because you can't see the page but because you're just not relaxed that can also cause a headache. So if you're doing a combination of things where you're sitting in a chair, maybe you're slouching and you're like this, and then you're elevating your shoulders, all of these things actually can cause a headache. When you're like this and if your shoulders are shrugged, you actually are diminishing the blood supply to your head. So that diminished blood supply can also be causing headaches. If you are somebody that sits all day at work, and at a computer and then goes home and sits and tries to read and you're like this, those muscles could already be sore from a day at work and then you sit and you try and read and they're just not able to sustain that posture anymore. So you wind up getting a headache. You wind up with this inability to read without getting a headache. So it's really related to this posture and how tense you are and where your muscles are um, the, the tensest and usually that's in your neck and your basically your scalp and your forehead when you read So you wind up getting this headache you wind up getting this headache because you're like bringing it up You're really using a lot of muscles in order to be able to read now Unfortunately with reading when you're in a poor posture situation or when you're holding something you don't really recognize it as strength strenuous strenuous position on your muscles because you're just standing here like this this doesn't feel too strenuous but what you don't recognize is the fact that doing this in improper posture all day is almost harder than doing a strenuous workout so you don't think that just because you don't feel like you're actually a lot of times you're going to be looking something like this or with your knee up but what happens is you wind up doing a lot of this so you're either scrunching a pillow something like this to, to bring your uh, head up a little bit and your arms are here so this is a little bit better position for your arms because the table or the bed or whatever you're laying on is going to support them so you don't have to necessarily worry about shrugging your shoulders up to hold the book however this is a really bad position in front of the head or the in the middle or the back but generally when you have headaches when you read those are the reasons you either have some type of poor posture um, and or you have some type of vision issue. So when you go to read, what you want to do is you want to find a nice supportive position. You know, I always recommend having like a cookbook stand to read from. That way your arms are not involved. Um, if you have a recliner, having that support where you're able just to kind of recline back and then have your book on the on your lap. If you have that cookbook stand and you can have that elevated up a little bit so you're reading. Don't think that just because you're going to look down with your eyes that your neck is not going to follow. So if you're trying to position a book down here and just look with your eyes, eventually your neck's going to follow. Eventually your shoulders are going to follow. Eventually everything's going to collapse in like this. So don't try and do the game where I'm just going to look with my eyes and keep my head level because as you continue to read and you dismiss your posture and you get into the book, you're not going to be able to maintain this posture where you're just looking down and trying to read. So. Like I said, some pillows on your lap with a cookbook stand, those are, that's a good way to go. Uh, a recliner where you're able to have some pressure against the recliner and you're nice and relaxed. Uh, if you're reading in bed, I really recommend more of a sitting posture with a bunch of pillows behind your head as opposed to just propping a pillow underneath your head and, 
raising it up like that, that, uh, that automatically really puts a lot of pressure on your spine, a lot of pressure on the muscles in your neck, and even some of those blood vessels that are going um, can minimize the amount of blood going to your head and therefore cause a headache. If you or someone you know is suffering with headaches and wants a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. Thanks and have a good night.